Thank you very much, Alex Rooker, for that kind introduction. Thank you to John Burton, and thank you to all of the leaders of the California Democratic Party. I thank the delegates, the Democrats, who worked so hard to help us achieve our two-thirds supermajority. I thank organized labor, the environmental community, all of the activists who work so hard day in and day out. And I want to especially thank my Senate colleagues for giving me the privilege to be your leader since 2009. What a difference four years makes. When I was elected the leader of your state Senate back in 2009, California was staring down the barrel of a $42 billion deficit. The state's bond market was dazed from collapse. The legislature was held hostage by a Republican Party unable to step up and put the people of California ahead of partisan politics. What a difference four years makes. A Democratic Senate a supermajority, a Democratic Assembly, a supermajority, a great Democratic governor in Jerry Brown. And most important, you, the Democratic voters, stepped up and made the difficult but decisive decisions that paved the way for the great California comeback. Through, thank you. Through prudent application of progressive policies, both tight-fisted and big-hearted, we have demonstrated how government works for the people and not the other way around. And we've done so not by dodging the big challenges, but by meeting them head on. We've made unprecedented investments in proven mental health programs and have much more to do. We've restored dental care for 800,000 low-income Californians. We've passed groundbreaking laws to safeguard the privacy of our children and keep guns out of the hands of our criminals. We've raised the minimum wage and we've strengthened our environmental and carbon standards the toughest in the land. We've opened new doors of opportunity by saying we want to change the high school experience for thousands of kids by promoting career pathways and linked learning, academic rigor, apprenticeship, and workforce at the same time. And we have passed laws that respect our immigrant communities leading the nation. And after years of debate, We've even started to make progress on the seemingly insurmountable issue of changing our criminal justice system to distinguish between people who must be in prison and people who can serve their sentences while getting the rehabilitation that they need to become productive members of society. And we've begun tackling the prison overcrowding crisis in a successful way, and we have more work to do there. But members of the Democratic Party, we never rest on our laurels, and we are not done. And while this is my final year as the leader of your state Senate, I'm not done either. For there is plenty of unfinished business to take care of. This is our time, a time not just to dream, but to do. A time not just to plan, but to build. A time not just to hope for better days, but to do all we can every day to make those better days happen. And so what's among our top priorities in 2014 as Senate Democrats? Assuring that every four-year-old has access to universal preschool. Why is that important? 80,000 California children dropped out of high school in 2012. 80,000 American dreams that didn't even get to the starting line. The dropout rate continues to shrink, but is still 
far too high. And the issues passed off as education reform by anti-union forces do little justice to those 80,000 children. Parading test scores or firing struggling teachers will not attract the best and most ambitious teachers into those difficult classrooms where their skills are needed the most. Last year, in partnership with the governor and the assembly, we achieved landmark legislation to deliver a simpler and more effective way to fund our schools through the local control funding formula. And this was significant because it raised per pupil funding statewide. But most importantly, it directed additional funding to the children who needed it most to help begin to bridge that, that stubborn achievement gap in California's education system. Now, we are all very proud of this reform, but I would assert today that its implementation is merely the beginning, not the end. It remains unfinished business. For no funding formula will help a struggling third grader who is already trailing his peers in language and literacy skills. No funding formula will prevent a 16-year-old from dropping out of high school because she fell behind years earlier. And no funding formula addresses the reality that the achievement gap is formed well before well before children arrive in kindergarten. By age five, low-income children are more than two years behind in language development. Children who do not read proficiently at the end of third grade are four times more likely to not graduate high school on time. What are we doing? with the wealth of research that says unequivocally that these early years shape whether or not a child will go on to succeed in school. They are talking about this in New York. They are talking about this in Washington. They are talking about this in many states throughout the country. And I promise you, that this spring they will be talking about this in Sacramento too. Because if we are to bridge the achievement gap in K-12 education, if we are going to create opportunity for all, if we are serious about tackling poverty and income inequality, we must endeavor to take on the source of this injustice, or at least one major source of this injustice, and offer high quality, early childhood education to all of our sons and daughters. And so this spring, Senate Democrats and really the entire legislature working with the governor will fight to lead and implement the Kindergarten Readiness Act which will offer one year of voluntary, high-quality, developmentally appropriate pre-kindergarten opportunity to every four-year-old, to every four-year-old in California. And we will find a way, while living within our means, to also invest more money, more money in children zero to three so that they're ready for preschool at age four. With your help, California will again lead the way. And whether your passion is social justice, economic development, or just doing right by our kids, I urge you to help us by getting behind this act and making sure that 2014 is the year where California leads the nation in ensuring preschool for all. Thank you. I want to end my remarks 
by telling you that the Senate will be in great hands when Senator Kevin DeLeon becomes the next Senate pro tem. And I want, again, want to once again thank my colleagues, Senate colleagues who are in the audience here today, and all of you for giving me an opportunity that I could never have imagined. It hasn't been easy. It's been some of the toughest years in recent California history. But I must tell you that I have loved every minute of it, maybe with the exception of one or two. <laughs> and I will never forget the experience, the achievements we've made together, the struggles, and what it means to have an opportunity to participate in our great democracy. I'm very, very grateful to all of you for giving me the opportunity to serve, and I thank you very much. Thank you, Democrats. Thank you.